What up, YouTube? It's uh, 3.30 a.m. September 26th, and my leg hurts so bad when I move it. It's not really that bad if I'm just being still, but if I move it at all, it's a top quad muscle. Oh, hurts so bad. I think maybe I overdid it earlier with all of my moving around when I felt good. Could have probably taken it easy, but I didn't. That's a mistake that I've made countless times. Not taking it easy when you're supposed to. Um, I'm going to go back to sleep now. Bathroom light is on, which means I have to get up to turn it off. And I don't want to get up because it is really painful to get up. I'm going to do it anyway. Because I don't like the lights on. I want to sleep. It's okay as long as I'm not moving, but I'm here, I forget the name of it. big change from earlier today. But... <sighs> and there's the journey. That's pretty normal. There's nothing to be worried about. My leg's not going to explode or fall off or something. Okay. Earlier, I guess my muscle twitched in its sleep. Twitched in my sleep. Earlier, I guess my muscle twitched in my sleep and it woke me up like, <gasps> Ugh. Felt like it was being stabbed. Maybe that muscle is upset because I took a nap on my stomach earlier. Uh, I, I want to help make sure I don't develop any contractures, hip flexion contractures, so that I can wear my prosthesis more effectively. So I thought, well, it's somewhat uncomfortable to sleep on my stomach, but that's what I'm going to do. And maybe that aggravated my muscle. 
It's just a thought. Well, yesterday I was in pain and then felt good and was moving around. I apparently way overdid it because my leg hurts a whole lot today when I move. And I'm just sitting here in my chair. It feels fine. Maybe a two on the one to 10 pain scale. But when I move, this muscle up here really hurts a lot. So for example, I got to get in bed. This feels like a big muscle cramp. from today are that don't overdo it on the day after your surgery. You gotta chill out and stay in bed as much as possible because otherwise you will overdo your muscles and make them really mad. Obviously some of my muscles are being held together by staples and sutures and so using them a bunch the day after surgery is maybe not the best idea. That's weird because I've always been told and taught by OT that early mobility is one of the best things that you can do following any type of surgical procedure like a hip surgery or shoulder replacement. But obviously if you have a hip surgery, you've got hip precautions, um, which are limitations, things that you're not supposed to do when you have a hip replacement, such as bending more than 90 degrees at the waist and stuff like that. And there really should be amputee precautions. I'm not really sure what they should be exactly, but uh, number one should be that you should really take it easy and try to limit all the things that you're doing, especially for the first few days. I didn't really get much sleep last night. Like none, basically. Maybe like 45 minutes here or there. So I'm pretty tired. I'm gonna go take a nap now. It is September 27th, 6 p.m. and my leg is still kind of hurty, pretty hurty to move around, but it's a lot better than it was before, thankfully. For a good like 12 hours there, it was basically unbearable to move, and now I can move it and it doesn't Feel like total ass. Yay! Huh, that's a relief. Maybe I'll get this charged tomorrow. That would be cool. My prosthetist came by and rewrapped my leg and assured me that the extreme pain that I was having up here in that one muscle didn't mean that anything was broken. And that was very reassuring. He told me that I probably just overdid it yesterday when I was crutching around and wheeling around and that I should take it easy and try to stay in bed and not move as much as possible. So that's what I'm gonna do. Maybe catch up on some sleep. That would be nice. By the way, I wanted to let you know that I have decided to start a Patreon. I know that there are lots of people out here who watch my videos who want even more content or exclusive content or even ask me to make special videos just for them. And so all of those are options for my Patreon. You can also get exclusive access to different pictures and videos that I've made that won't be available on YouTube. If you're interested in joining and supporting me, I would really appreciate it. It would be super awesome and it would mean the world to me, seriously. Okay, I really have no idea what I am doing with my Patreon, so it will definitely be patron driven so what you guys want to see and have is what will be available all right i'm done plugging my stuff see you later bye